everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome to a very special episode of ATS Showcases, where I take this marvelous, and I mean marvelous, Peterbilt 567 that is outfitted in the UPS skin, which I think it is amazing. And so by the way, this mod is available on the Steam Workshop, and it is by GTM. Or at least that's what it's called, the GTM Peterbilt 567. It is very, very popular. I am not certainly the first one to do a kind of look at this. It is, I would say, not even really new to the game. But I love this mod. Um, now that 1.37 has been stable for a bit, I'm going to bring it back. And uh, also, and this is going to be the first time on the channel that you can actually see it. So, we are going to be taking uh, Freniger, I believe. Uh, home home accessories, sorry, uh, to uh, Provo, so it's not too too far. But uh, man, does this truck have a lot of options on it? Um, obviously, the skin I got separately, it's just a UPS uh, ownable trailer skin, uh, pretty basic there. Um, obviously, this truck is like tricked out. It's got the steerable axle that's liftable. Uh, same with the trailer, I got it tricked out as well. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, look at all the options we've got here. Okay, so here we are in the configurator, just basic tool here, just to see some of the options this truck has to offer. So, obviously, uh, you have the day, day cab and ultra cab. Um, and a ton, I mean a ton of uh, chassis options. So that's where you can get up to like the steerable, which is I have on the truck right now. And then just the rear steerable and all this kind of stuff. Um, engine wise, you've got a lot of different options here. Cummins and uh, Packer engines. Transmissions, same deal. You've got the Allisons, you've got the Eatons, all that good stuff. Interior, you've got three different tiers. You've got the Prestige, Platinum, and Heritage. Um... I don't know. I personally don't mind the prestige. Just the black all looks kind of clean, simple. I don't mind that. Now, paint options. Obviously, you can do the normal like colors with SES and stuff like that. You do the custom color, um, but you can also do... GTM has a lot of cool skins uh, that comes with this mod, actually. So you've got the Swift, which is actually... It looks like Fuzzbutts Logistics. <laughs> That's funny. Just kind of a fake... Thing like that, you can do your custom metallic cover color, obviously. And if you've got Penske Trucking too, um, that's a cool skin there. It's nice bright yellow, and then obviously the UPS skin, the Golf Long Haul Two, Mojave or Mojav, I don't know, Potomac, uh, Rio Grande, Seattle, Tego, and it goes on. Cascades, Columbia. Uh, there's a ton of different, and obviously the Stars and Stripes, if we go patriotic with it. Uh, there's a ton of different options uh, there. And then also, like, look at the dots. Um, what I've done is I've gone and say there's kind of a faint dot up there. You can then uh, choose the arrow kit. So if you want to uh, put on the uh, extended thing, which I've done, and then also if you want to do the, if you want to just do the chrome turbo wing it's all up to you of uh, ton of you can do like windshield elements if you have mods uh installed for that bug deflectors different uh fender rims grills um i did the custom so it's like the newer uh the newer version but you've got all the different old style uh peter builds which are pretty cool as well a uh, ton of different options around the truck that uh I don't really have uh, time to show. Uh, there's a great, there's a ton of op, um, op, well, optimization, but a lot of customization you can do with this truck. And uh, yeah, it's an amazing mod. So let's get back into the journey. Okay, so without further ado, let's get this thing fired up. Oh, of course, got it in gear. No. You're not here at Prime Simulation if you don't notice me uh, forget to put it in the gear. It's got a pretty good horn on it. Not a normal horn, but uh, I like the LEDs at the front. I like this look where it's like that, and then if I put on the, uh, obviously the other lights, and the high beams come off with the lower bit, that uh, makes it look pretty cool. And obviously there's a lot of chrome. I've got the headache rack at the back just because. Ton of chrome, steerable axles all down. I mean, I figure... 
if I'm going to do it, why not? And the trailer's steerable, so it helps a bit, because you'll find out this thing does not like to turn. So interior in, uh, in-game here, and I'll just do another outside shot, just because. Um, I actually just hit the wrong button, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it is a nice interior in here. Um, obviously, we've got the dash over here. Pretty small GPS, but that's not too bad. Um, other than that, you got the uh, CV radio up there. Um, th that little cord will actually dangle, so that's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to get out of here. Uh, that way we can uh, make some good time. So, if you guys have any suggestions for other trucks that you want to see me uh, kind of, I guess you could say, do a review, but more showcase on the channel, just have some fun doing something else other than my normal career save, um, let me know. I will uh, do my best to look into it. Now, only one cause. I am really only wanting to do mods that are on the Steam Workshop just because of the safety reasons. I know, generally, like, the Steam Workshop at least is. Uh, so you have to, there's different certification and testing that goes on so most you it's a little bit safer and I would rather just do that so uh, please keep that in mind I am sir I'm gonna just go for it um, but yeah turning radius on this thing I mean turning radius is okay but like it is a long chassis so don't expect tight maneuverability I remember on the uh, when I was building this thing uh, the little chart that shows like all the like for heavy cargo maneuverability all that stuff um, giving it a bar rating uh, maneuverability was basically as low as it can go uh, but heavy haul and rough terrain and everything else was pretty good so there you go that's <laughs> that's that's basically the extent of that one this long red light here there we go uh, but sure pulls pretty good considering we've got a lot of weight in this thing. Um, but I love this look. Like, look at that. That is something special, if I say so myself. It's a nice truck to drive though. I mean, other than the, uh, the lack of steering, overall it's not bad um, to drive. And like visibility wise, I know I'm not in real life, but visibility-wise, it's actually really good, um, so I don't mind that. And the dash is just nice, simple, um, small GPS, so I mean, uh, if you're on a bigger setup, sure. Uh, for me, I'm kind of on the middle ground of having a big monitor versus a small monitor, so I don't know. Um, to each their own, I guess. Um, but let's get up to highway speed here. I'm using a di uh, digital speedometer in the middle just because uh, although I can see the uh, uh, the dash elements, I just want to uh, see how well this thing goes. So, or I want to see the digital speed of it just for simplicity's sake. We're not doing like my career mode here, so I don't think anyone's going to kill me if I don't uh, if I don't. Uh, switch or if I if I leave it on that I don't think that is a big deal now saying that if you guys if, if you are a new viewer here and enjoy the content and want to see more of any of these different showcases or just want to um, check out some of the other cool things I do on the channel be sure to obviously subscribe and turn on post notifications I'm not normally one to uh, plug I, I was early on, so if you see any of my early vi videos, basically every video, obviously I have the little graphic that comes up, but that's separate. I really don't ever say much, but obviously YouTube is YouTube, and it helps the channel. That's the simplest way to put it. I, I'm not really... I. I there was a video I did that was called Real Talk with Prime, so if you want to see that, uh, it will be in the card above. I went through and basically talked through the whole goal of this channel, and uh, it was a whole delivery where I just basically talked about, well, basically me, uh, to a certain degree, and my aim for the channel and my goal, and change certain changes and stuff like that. So if you want to check that out and see kind of where I'm at at stuff and kind of almost get to know me a bit, be sure to watch that. Also, if you want to see my regular uh, career mode, 
Prime Logistics, uh, where every Saturday I do a episode where I do a journey there, talk about some stuff. Overall, just a nice, chill time. Uh, check out the description below. That will be linked to the playlist. Other than that, this thing is amazing. Cinematic shots. YouTuber's best friend. Just saying. Um, not much else to say. It's it's like the best thing that has happened um, for in this game. Well, I mean, it, it it was there for a long. It's been there for a long time, but still, it makes it makes all my shots real easy to uh, to create here. But like this thing is just amazing. Uh, graphically, it is just beautiful, the chrome on it. Um, like, it just, it just shines. Other than the trailer. The trailer is actually kind of a letdown. I don't know why I'm getting over here. I need, I'm going to need to exit. But, uh, yeah, it is just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Um, normally don't say beautiful about trucks, but this one I think deserves the title. It is a very, very special one. Uh, great mod. Great mod. So we're basically we're pulling up to uh, Provo here. Um, wasn't going to be a big delivery just because that's not the goal of these showcases. Although, whoa, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. There we go. Um, although some journeys might need to be longer. Um, this one, obviously, I had, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I've just started a save, and I've been kind of like for a the YouTube testing and this kind of. Um, showcases here in ATS so the um, the save isn't developed as much as I would like and so within the next few episodes we will be going to different states and stuff like that I am just uh, in the process of expanding I guess you could say expanding the map around and stuff I actually when I was creating this wanted to start in California but I misclicked and started in uh, Utah, in Salt Lake City, where my career mode is. So I'll know I've been around this area quite a bit, and I, I know it actually quite well now. Um, I would like to kind of go with these things all over the place and not always be uh, in the same place. Uh, so that's obviously where I'm going with that. Uh, now it's just going to take time to implement that, and I am speeding beyond compare. But yeah, this truck, shiny amazing I'm sure it will be used again in the future just maybe a different configuration because um, I mean I love it uh, so yeah maybe in the future again we'll use it again or just do a different skin with it obviously won't do it back to back because that'd be pretty boring if I just went Peterbilt 356 or whatever it is I already forgot it um, it would be kind of boring to do but uh, bring it back again obviously because that was a short delivery and it was just a short showcase but it got the point across this thing is really really cool and uh, I enjoy working with it now backing up that's the other question because it's not gonna be easy so let's just kind of come around here I'm gonna put brakes where's our there's that we need to try and turn around, so I think we're going to go in here, but we're going to have to like figure out how we're going to turn around, because trust me, this thing does not turn very well at all, so it's going to be a multiple turn situation, I think. It turns well to the left, not to the right, and that is leading me to think that it is an issue on my end with my wheels. Now let's go to the exterior view just so you can see, so we're going to swing it around. I thi I'm thinking part of the maneuverability is actually... Oh, that's steerable tra trailer. Can we follow this or is it... No, we're going to have to... It is going to pivot around. Because it's... Look at the... The wheel's not turning much. Like, it turns more that way than it does that way. Okay, we're going to have to kind of manipulate this one around here. And try and get that in the place. Because it does not turn to the one way very much. So we basically have to annoyingly get it... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, basically have to get it in line like that and uh, go from there now trailer will help us a bit but it kind of needs to be 
in place first. Just squeak it by there. And then we're gonna pull forward. We'll do we'll finish it up from inside here with the mirrors. Or just back up like this. That works. But look at the chrome, it just shines. Just shines. And there we go. There we go. Let's go to the interior view here. We'll uh, flick off the light, turn off the truck, and uh, there we go. So let's uh, unload the trailer and uh, see how how it all went. Of course, we have to synchronize because why not? looks all green and that is good although it doesn't really matter in this that is good so thank you guys for watching that was very very cool um, that's certainly something that I want to do more of the ATS showcases really fun and uh, yeah we'll uh, have more of these in the future for sure so again thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one.